A prisoner serving 15 years for murder attempted to pull off an unbelievable escape from jail by wrapping himself in sheepskin. He was a real-life wolf in sheep's clothing. Jose Luis Calasaya Diaz attempted to escape from Chanchacoro, a maximum security prison in Bolivia, in February 2023 by wrapping himself in sheepskin and crawling through the grassland surrounding the jail. The inmate used his fleece coat to sneak past security and attempted to break through one of the prison's external walls on February 4th. Despite his sneaky attempts, security noticed Diaz, who is serving 15 years for murder, was not in his cell. Photos of his bizarre attempted escape show the prisoner crawling around on all fours in a field while wearing the fuzzy coat before he was taken back into custody. Diaz thought the cold weather would provide some cover during his escape, prison officials said. Authorities have ordered legal and disciplinary actions against Diaz since his attempted escape. This is the extraordinary moment a prisoner stripped off to squeeze through the food hatch of his cell in a bid to escape jail. Footage shows the slender inmate forcing himself through the tiny holes stark naked. The incident, which was caught on CCTV, is believed to have taken place in the town of Izerbash in the Republic of Dagestan. Rustam Shakrutinov, 25, has been identified as the escapee and dubbed Snake Man by local media in southwest Russia. The video begins with the lag already, with most of his torso sticking out through the small hatch. He can then be seen uncomfortably negotiating his behind and private regions through the hole before tumbling onto the floor, giving quite an eyeful to the security camera, then slips on his shoes and casually strolls down the corridor while pulling on his top. It is currently unknown if Russian cops have been able to reapprehend the flexible felon. Users on social media have compared the daring escape to an early episode of The X-Files, as well as a scene from Ace Ventura where Jim Carrey forces himself out of a mechanical rhino. A Wisconsin woman was caught on tape, breaking out of her handcuffs and escaping from a local police station, Authority said. 30-year-old Amber Gonzalez was arrested in September 2018 at the Beaumont Hotel for theft and possession of drug paraphernalia. Officers took Gonzalez to a holding cell in the Waukesha Police Department, where surveillance video shows her alone in the holding cell on her cell phone, allegedly trying to coordinate bail and a ride home. Video footage captures the 97-pound woman wriggling and pulling her hand through the cuffs in less than a minute, despite police saying that they placed the handcuffs on the tightest setting. The defendant stated in the complaint from the clerk of Circuit Court, Waukesha County, that she became anxious about going to jail and not seeing her children. Once she freed herself, Gonzalez proceeded to escape the holding cell and walk out of the building from an emergency exit. She further explained in the complaint that she took the keys from a door handle and used them to open the door and get outside. She then went to a gas station and met up with a truck driver, since identified as James W. Humbert, according to the complaint. The pair went back to the same hotel where she was initially arrested, and the truck driver then allegedly paid Gonzalez for sex. Humbert told police in the complaint that he had met Gonzalez at a nearby Wendy's location two weeks prior to the incident. He eventually admitted that he was going to the hotel to engage in prostitution with the defendant, a law enforcement official noted in the complaint. About an hour after her escape, police re-arrested her at the hotel on prostitution charges. This time, officers booked her at the Waukesha County Jail, where she was released a few days later on bail. Danilo Cavalcante, a 34-year-old convicted of first-degree murder in the 2021 killing of his ex-girlfriend, escaped from Chester County Prison on August 31, 2023, and was captured two weeks later. Cavalcante was sentenced to life in prison, but had not yet been transferred to a state prison at the time of his escape. Despite its name, Chester County Prison is technically a county jail. Surveillance video of the escape shows he placed his hands on one wall, and his feet on another, and crab walked up to the roof. He then ran across the roof, scaled another fence, and got through more razor wire. Neither the tower guard overlooking the prisoners, nor the person tasked with monitoring the facility's cameras, saw the escape as it happened. Since Cavalcante escaped encounters with the guards, the armed and dangerous man repeatedly raised alarms as he stole a vehicle, a weapon, and other items while on the run from authorities. He was spotted on multiple homes' doorbell cameras. After eluding a manhunt for nearly two weeks, 
the convicted murderer got captured. Authorities got an important clue to Cavalcanti's whereabouts when a burglar alarm at a home was tripped shortly after midnight Wednesday. A DEA aircraft using thermal imaging equipment was then able to guide a tactical team that closed in on Cavalcanti using the element of surprise. Earlier that year, another inmate escaped from the same facility using a similar tactic. Igor Bolt climbed onto the facility's roof and dropped down to a less secure area on May 19th. Bolt told police he was able to scale a wall in an exercise area by putting his legs against one wall and his arms on another until he was able to pull himself onto the roof. He was caught within minutes, less than a mile from the prison. Prison officials said they subsequently took steps to enhance security. We thought we took appropriate measures to prevent that with the razor wire, Chester County Prison Acting Warden Howard Holland said during a news conference. Again, the one thing we didn't take into account was a failure on the human element side. We only focused on the physical infrastructure and not necessarily the human element. In Garland County, a 34-year-old man named Derek Estelle looks to be on the phone, perhaps talking to a loved one. In reality, he's biding his time to make the escape. This wasn't a solo job either. He had conspired with other prisoners to distract the officers. Once the officers were on the other side of the room, he jumped across a counter and through a window. You can then see footage of him squeezing out, followed by an officer squeezing out after him. Other footage captures him outside making a run for it. A car awaited him, his ticket to freedom. They drove away with officers trying to stop the car from pulling away but the fact that the cops knew what the car looked like was a massive blow. Police later found the vehicle abandoned. Estelle was caught three weeks later in an abandoned home with his girlfriend, who is believed to be the driver of the vehicle he jumped into. At the prison, Estelle's mother and stepfather were also charged with assisting the escape. Mothers will do anything for their kids. A security camera captured footage of a jail inmate's apparent escape attempt from a holding room that ended with her falling through a ceiling and landing head first in a trash can. Jail security video shows Boomershine climbing up a holding room wall January 21st as other inmates watch and then moving out of sight. A few seconds later, parts of ceiling tiles fall to the floor. Boomershine's legs then appear and guards pull her down. She ends up head first in a trash can that then tips over. Boomershine was in jail on charges of kidnapping and robbing an 85-year-old Dayton area man last month, records show. She and a co-defendant broke into the man's home after meeting him at a casino, according to prosecutor Matt Heck. The pair took the man's gun, forced him to provide the code to his bank card, withdrew money from his account, placed him in the trunk of his car, and then abandoned the vehicle near a trash facility, the prosecutor's office said. The man escaped and was later found inside the trash facility, 